So my concluding remarks. Uh, so it still is a is a is a few minutes. Uh, so, I mean, our focus session was really exactly that: focused on the exploratory work, uh, the eligibility application, and then the solutions with which we work on. I would, I would actually, in my remarks now, uh, make some more uh, again make some general points on this exploration. I would actually have a call for action precisely for the exploratory phase. And I'm afraid I will not be able to resist the temptation to also make a call for action asking you as market participants to support making the market more efficient, both for DLT, but by the way, even for existing technology. So the euro system has a clear interest to ensure that central bank money remains the monetary anchor, supporting the stability, integration, and also the efficiency of the European financial system. And for that, central bank money and central bank money settlement has to be made available in a way that is useful to market participants. So to find out what would be useful ways to do so, so we are investigating then how central bank money settlement in euro could take place in the presence of new technologies and in particular now for in the presence of uh, distributed ledger technology. Well, I will not repeat uh, all details, but key points that we have covered today. We have uh, elaborated on the framework for the exploration phase, which does not include, not only include mock settlement through experiments, but actually also actual settlement in central bank money. We have explained uh, uh, how we have a set up, how we have set up a framework that strikes what we think is a reasonable balance between safety uh, and innovation. In that context, we explained how we will assess eligibility and that we are more flexible as regards participation in experiments than we are for the participation in trials for that reason. So for trials with eligible participants, we have also covered off uh, and, uh, and shed light on how we will be able to measure the functioning of the solution's performance and also your experience, including for DVP, even where we use the escrow accounts and the actual T2 payment uh, is taking place only at the end of the trial day. So the call for action from, uh, for you for the exploration phase A, read the available documentation. B, so if interested, apply to your local national central banks. Uh, if need be, if you are a market participant, a market DLT operator, apply twice and also give indications of what you want to do with whom um, as part of it. And also consider what you want to propose. So, as we said, I mean, the very obvious case is DVP related payments or payment related to securities lifecycle. Uh, but we also, uh, we are also uh, are happy to, to hear from you proposals for PVP, for FX transactions and other wholesale payments. So uh, for those transactions, so PVP and other wholesale transactions, we will then make the assessment of whether to conduct uh, these experiments or possibly trials on a case by case basis. That might of course depend on what is involved in the proposals, uh, who, is in, who needs to be involved and also on our operational boundaries. But that we will assess then. Then we would welcome that you trial for all solution because this facilitates comparability. Of course, there's also an option that you participate, uh, for example, in trials um, and experiments. And for those where you cannot try. In particular, if you are interested uh, in applying for wave one already, so please do express the interest early because the time windows for the phase one and two of the onboarding and testing are, are limited. So it's new, so better to, to, to actually uh, allow an early assessment and that, that you could then participate early. Again, your interlocutor is your local NCB. If you're admitted, please be prepared to not only conduct your business, there will also be reporting requirements. And I think it's in your own interest and it's self-evident. We want ourselves, but also you in the market to make good use of the experience 
and like to make evidence-based analysis uh, and data, data decisions. So I, and I think on your side, you will also measure it. So I think that will be, that should be in everybody's interest and should be, should be no problem. So basically the Eurosystem running this exploratory work from May, 2024 to November, 2024 for the three interoperability type solutions. This contributes to digital innovation in payments and also security settlement. To be clear, the success for this will also depend on you. So we give you a stage not only to try out different solutions, we give you a stage also to demonstrate to other actors that this is not just a fancy and interesting, but that actually it works. And that you and the market uh, have overall interesting use cases and, and there is an economic interest in actually pursuing this and uh, implementing this. There have also been questions today on what will happen after the exploration phase. And my answer could admittedly not be very precise. This was inevitable because uh, if we knew exactly what we will do, we would not need to actually have to explore this. So that's, I think is, is quite obvious. So what I can say is that we will thoroughly analyze the findings reported to us and discussed with us. So we will, of course, also monitor relevant developments uh, also outside this exploration phase and have also policy discussions on what would be a good way forward, which may involve one or more of the solutions we are trialing with or other settlement models as briefly introduced at the beginning of today. Of course, I mean, as mentioned, we look at how central bank money and central bank money settlement can and should be made available in a way that is useful for market participants while also balancing costs and benefits uh, for this. So first and foremost, it's up to the market to make DLT a success. So if you as market participants deem that this is useful, the reverse is of course also true. So if the market does not use DLT and there's no plans for doing this, then it's not obvious why a central bank uh, should uh, take further action there if you don't. So that's, uh, I think that uh, that is then, I hope that clarifies also what, what could be a long-term view. So it really depends on, on how this evolves and what the findings are. So it's also important that you do not only have good ideas on what to do, uh, but also that in the end, uh, you can deliver on what you promise or what DLT seems to promise in the eyes of many. And when we had asked market participants among the high scoring ones were automation, atomic settlement, decentralized programming. So, uh, and of course, all this and eventually also your client's appetite will also depend on whether there's a sufficient degree also of standardization so that efficient automated processes are feasible. Actually, our dedicated market contact group has already had an interesting discussion on this um, in, in our last meeting. So you can look up these presentations and summaries on our website. The link is actually in the slides uh, that were shown today and that will also be published. Me being the head of innovation and integration um, that acts also as a catalyst to help harmonization, I do experience actually also some inertia to adapt actually exclusively new and future-proof standards like, like ISO 20022 which are valid for existing technologies as well as DLT. So in addition to working on, on business cases uh, to make, I mean, if you want to make this a success, so please also support such standardization work by both convincing other market participants, but also colleagues in your own organization who might not yet embrace the need to invest in the implementation of modern standards because there's much gain for all, again, irrespective of the technology. But anyway, Focus, focus session focusing on the near term future. So A, please read the documents carefully. I hope and trust that this is easier after today's focus session. B, register your interest in the call for interest. And in particular, for those of you who would like to participate in wave one, please contact your local NCB even early. C, of course, you will always need others for transactions, so you should team up, but the registration you have to do for yourself. And if you're both a market participant and market DLT operator, you need to apply twice. So, and of course the deadlines once more for wave one by end January, 2022, uh, 2024, for wave two by end April.
So thank you. And please make your application your life easier by providing your local NCB from the start with pertinent, useful information for your application. And otherwise, I would like to close with uh, wishing you all a productive and us all, not you all, also us in the Euro system, a productive and, uh, and, and useful mutual uh, learning experience. Thank you. <laughs>